Family and friends came together to remember an East Nashville couple murdered in their apartment over the weekend. A candlelight vigil was held tonight at Glencliff High School to honor the couple. Our Emily Luxon was there and joins us with how family and friends are coping. Emily. Well, everyone there was still very emotional and obviously struggling with the aftermath of the situation. Friends say they want to make sure that the couple will be remembered as good people who love their children. We would like to thank everybody for coming out tonight. For this group of old friends, it was a reunion they wished they didn't have to attend. It's important to come together um, as a family and kind of let everybody know that you're here to support each other. But family and friends filled the parking lot at Glencliff High School to remember 23-year-old Alexandra Grubbs and 24-year-old Preston Claybrooks Jr. Alex's mom just wanted me to say that she knows that we love her. Armed with purple balloons and candles, they shared stories and memories about the young couple who were found brutally killed inside their East Nashville apartment on Sunday. No one deserves to die like that. They were good people and they are portrayed to be something they're not. The drug things, it needs to stop. It's tearing us apart. Uh, the killing's got to stop. Friends say the longtime couple was hardworking and loved each other and their children. It just really hurts to know that this happened to two good people with two very young children that will never be able to know who their mother and father are. And while they come to terms with the death of their friends, they will continue to rely on each other during this emotional time. It's really hard to wrap my mind around it. There are so many unanswered questions that I have that I wish that I could get answers to, Two, three. just so we could have some type of closure. Yeah, Alex and Faith. We love you. Yeah, we love you, Alex. Let's go. Let's go. Alexander Grubbs' family has set up a GoFundMe page to help with funeral costs, and we do have a link on newschannel5.com. There will be a memorial for Grubbs Thursday from 4 to 8 p.m. at Woodbine Funeral Home, and arrangements for Claybrooks are still being finalized. Rory. All right, Emily. 20-year-old Brandon Griswold and his girlfriend, 21-year-old Whitney Gray, admitted to killing the couple. Both now face murder charges.